these other fuckers that come in that show zero receipts, zero infield, zero testimonials, okay, or even when they talk about game and it's way off from a technical standpoint, okay, they, they speak mostly in generic woo-woo terms, they, spoke, they speak mostly in theoretical terms, okay, and then people come to their rescue, oh, well, wait, 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 wait a second, he doesn't claim to be a dating coach, he's just a theory guy. Oh, okay, so what value is he providing? He's not showing you how to get women, okay? He's pussying out when it comes to being alpha. So what exactly is he teaching you? What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanted to talk about the notion of haters, okay? A lot of people call me a hater, for talking shit on the majority of the industry, okay? But there's a big difference between just hating at random and calling out huge fucking scammers and huge fucking frauds that are ripping everyone off on a massive scale, misleading everyone on a massive scale, okay? But I see every day on the comments of my videos, oh man, you're such a hater because he has more subs. Oh man, you're such a hater because uh, he said this and like you're not good enough to do that, okay? If we're looking at the facts, okay, first of all, I don't give two fucks about my subs, my sub count. That means nothing. Okay, back, I had 2,000 subs a couple years ago, and I still had more results than the entire rest of the industry by far, by a landslide. But wait, I only had 2,000 subs. Who fucking gives a shit, okay? The biggest channels in the niche, I can tell you for a fact, haven't even hit 100 lay count yet, okay, because they told me that personally, uh, such as Trip Advice, okay? And it, whatever, yeah, he's more relationship focused. Sort of. The thing is, okay, my knowledge in this game is unparalleled. My results in this game are unparalleled. And the results that I get for the clients are unparalleled. No one comes close, okay? That sounds arrogant, it sounds egotistical, but it's also fact, okay? So when I go in, like for Fresh Prince CEO, for instance, we'll start off with that one. When I go in and I rip up that motherfucker and I say, look, he was working on a website builder four months ago. Look, he can't even complete a sentence and he just reeks massive beta energy, okay? And then we look and he was married to some overweight Latina chick, okay? And this guy has, knows nothing about dating, okay? The fact that their podcast is blowing up means jack shit, okay? They've created a trashy reality TV show with a bunch of trashy fucking busted girls and they've added in all this like fake pseudo alpha uh, kickouts with Myron or, or whatever the fuck is, people are like, I love how you call him Myron. Myron Gaines, okay, who gives a shit what his dumb fake name is. Okay, Amru sucks with girls. Walter Weeks sucks with girls. Okay, those guys fucking blow. They can get on a camera and create a bunch of trashy drama, okay, and do this trashy shit likened to like reality TV and Jerry Springer and all that doesn't make them authorities in the game, okay? If you wanna go have a laugh, if you wanna go watch some drama, you can watch uh, Fresh and Fit's podcast. You can watch, uh, you know, any other host of reality TV trash TV, which is exactly what it is. Okay, so that, that's what it is. That, that's a fact, okay? And when I show you that these guys have no real dating expertise and they fucking suck at game, okay, that's also a fact. Okay, and I back up how Myron was discovered to be paying girls, how he came to me for coaching, said he was banging girls at the level of a four, okay, four out of 10. Between a four and an eight is what he told me. He, he called himself an intermediate. He said his circle doesn't know what the fuck they're doing and he came to me for advice. Okay, yes, me, the 20K sub channel, as if that fucking matters. Oh, but they're, they're growing so much faster. Who gives a flying fuck? Okay, it's not about who has the most subs that, that determines how well, that, how much they know about dating. Okay, it's a whole host of other things, such as all the stuff they can prove in terms of their own skills and the skills they get for clients, okay? So those guys don't know shit about dating and they shouldn't be giving any fucking dating advice. That's the point. That doesn't make me a hater, okay? And by the way, if you want to master the game and get extremely good, extremely fast, jump on a free 30 minute call. Uh, you can speak either to me or someone on my team. We'll go over how we can get you very good, very fast and learn the game for real, okay? But I wanted to clear the air in regards to, oh, you're the biggest hater in the internet. You're the no, this is a skill game that I devoted my entire life to, to optimizing and to mastering, okay? When I show the exponential results of my lay count progression, okay, which I'll pop up on the screen, where it took me 10 years to hit the first 100 girls, then it was about 100 to 150 girls a year for a while, and then my best year was 246 new. That's just full closes. I didn't track non-sex hookups. That was a lot of fucking work. I put in the blood, sweat, and tears to relentlessly optimize. I have almost 14,000 phone numbers in my phone, okay? And these other fuckers that come in that show zero receipts, zero infield, 
zero testimonials, okay, or even when they talk about game and it's way off from a technical standpoint, okay, they, they speak mostly in generic woo-woo terms, they, spoke, they speak mostly in theoretical terms, okay, and then people come to their rescue, oh, well, wait, 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 wait a second, he doesn't claim to be a dating coach, he's just a theory guy, oh, okay, so what value is he providing? He's not showing you how to get women, okay, he's pussying out when it comes to being alpha, so what exactly is he teaching you? He, he, oh, well, he, well, he's teaching me about the red pill. Oh, I see. Okay, so let's, let's dig behind the fucking, let's pull back the curtain. What is he really doing? What are most of these coaches really doing? They're making you, in the pickup world, they're making you fucking weirdos. They're making you circus characters. They're making you dancing monkey performers. So that when you go out and try to do game, okay, either cold approach or when you're on a date or when you're interacting with a female in general, you're acting like a total fucking weirdo. And basically you're just putting off like pussy repellent, okay? Before you were just an average guy that didn't have any strategy. Now, after you've received this wonderful help, okay, from all these gurus, now you are actively repelling girls, okay? So you've gone backwards. So maybe you give the red pill coaches a try, okay? Also a bunch of guys that married below average girls, that have girlfriends that are below average, that don't show any receipts, that don't show any infield. Oh, but they're just theory guys, they're just theoretical. They just prepare you how to be an alpha man. Okay, why do they all marry threes? Okay, is that what an alpha man does? Uh, why have they not shown any proof of getting hot girls? Is that, what an, is that what an alpha guy who has it all figured out does? Okay, so now you have no pickup strategy. Now you, you've been made a weirdo by the pickup coaches. And now these red pill coaches have taught you to routinely resent women, be confrontational to women, and hate women. Okay, so now you suck at game. You still have no strategy. You're now acting like a total fucking weirdo. And now, you are just going around being confrontational and resentful towards women, okay? Now, maybe you'll throw in some black pill ideology, okay? Oh, let's see here, uh, now, the, now the guy's sitting there, oh, I'm not a Chad, so basically, it's over, man. There's no hope, okay? Uh, my jawline isn't strong enough. I'm not tall enough. Oh, I don't like my ethnicity. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not aesthetically pleasing enough, okay? So now everyone is not even trying to pour forth any effort. Okay, and I get on the phone with guys every day that come from each of those camps or a variety of those camps and it's all put them massively backwards. Okay, all that fucking content that digest they digested was poison. All that content they digested was toxic. Okay, and I come in to show the guys, look what a fucking waste of time all this was. Look what a fucking waste of effort all this was. Look what a fucking waste of money all this was. What did it do for you? Did it get you the women that you wanted? No. Did it give you confidence? No. Did it help you behave more normally and socially calibrated? No. Just the opposite in all the cases. Okay. Did it help you want to feel good about yourself in the case with the black pill stuff? No. It made a whole bunch of guys go into looks maxing forums and chad worship and just make fun of each other all day. That's, that's what a lot of this community has, has resorted into. Now you have a bunch of guys saying, oh, well, you're not a Chad, you're not a Chad, you're not a Chad, it's over for you, man, it's over for you, man, you have no chance, game will never work for you, game is fake, okay? Game is not fake. I've had thousands of clients in over the past decade of coaching, okay? And I've gotten the vast majority of them very good, okay? Regardless of their looks, regardless of their money, and none of these guys have any fucking status, that's a joke. Does that mean looks, money, and status don't matter? Of course not, okay? Those things can help, but they're icing on the cake. The big part of the equation is your game. The big part of the equation is your strategy. Okay, how are you going to do your cold approach? How are you going to build your online profile? How are you going to text? How are you going to message girls once you get a match? There's better ways to do each one of those things. Okay, the Sun Tzu quote from The Art of War, the battle is won before it's fought. I can equip you to know everything that's coming and to make the optimal moves in all the cases. So you stack all the odds in your favor. Just like a chess grandmaster can do the same for equipping someone on how to win a chess game. Just like a poker superstar that's made millions of dollars because it's a skill game just like the seduction game can equip you to consistently win in the long run in poker, okay? So when you're fucking ready to get an optimal strategy and have your calendar packed out with more dates than you can handle within a matter of just two or three weeks after working with me, okay, that's at the point when you should jump on a free call, okay, a free 30-minute call. There's no obligation. I know a lot of you are like, well, I'm on the fence. I'm not sure. Okay, get on the call and let's discuss, and I will show you exactly how we'll do it step by step because my stuff is all very step by step, systematic, practical, straightforward, as it should be, so that you can start implementing things literally today or tomorrow, whenever it is that you fucking get involved with it, 
that are going to bring girls in your life, hot girls. I can also show you how to have massive confidence in how to actually be an alpha guy from a guy that's dated beautiful women all around the world. Oh, what a, what a concept, okay? A coach can actually have bang tons of hot girls all around the world in all kinds of different scenarios and know all the little ins and outs of how to show you how to do it too. Yeah. Or you can go listen to all the people that married a three that have no proof, that have no receipts, that are just pushing toxins and poisons across the whole community and making everyone frustrated and sad and lonely and hopeless, okay, which is the, the state of, of most of the community. That's why I fucking go to war with these guys. That's why I take each one of them down, okay? And what do I get in return? I get slander, I get death threats, I get fake Reddit posts leaving fake reviews of, of programs that they never took, okay? People call me a rape coach. People, I've never been accused or charged with rape. People say, oh, all his proof is fake hookers. What do you think all this whole group of coaches that are scamming you for all your money are gonna say about a guy that's showing mountains of proof? They're just gonna wanna dismiss it and say it's all fake. Oh, it's all hookers, it's all fake. Oh, isn't that convenient, okay? Hundreds of hours of infield, thousands of receipts, of being with, with hot girls. All the advanced guys vouching for me. Endless testimonials of, of accomplishing more for students in the game than anyone ever has in the history of community, in the community, by far, okay? Accomplishing more in the game for myself than anyone ever has in the community, by far, okay? So you can call that a hater. I call it, you know, being a man and fucking standing up for, for a game that I really love, standing up for all the fucking little guys, okay? That don't know who to trust, that don't know who to turn to, and that also are ready to give up. I talk to guys every day on the phone. Hey man, I think I'm just gonna forget about dating and, and I'll just be alone my whole life. I hear that all the fucking time, okay? Hey man, I'm, uh, you know, I'm ready to just, they're just slipping into deep depressions because they've given lots of time, they've given lots of effort, they've given lots of money, they've been sold the dream. And all these fuckheads are laughing all the way to the bank and they're not capable of helping you. It's that, it's that simple. It's, it's another question if they want to help you, but even if they did want to, which in most cases they don't, okay? They're not capable. Who, you're gonna go, like look at Richard Cooper. You're gonna go to a guy that just got fucking treated like a doormat by single mom after single mom, by his own account in his own fucking shitty book. And you're gonna go trust a guy like that. Why, because he's cool, because he bought a McLaren? Chicks are not are still not gonna fuck him, even with the McLaren, because he's a huge beta pussy, okay? And you need a fucking strong role model. You need someone who's actually done this, who can show you proof of doing it countless times, and showing you proof of how they've done it countless times for all the people that they coach, okay? That's me, okay? That's not being a hater, okay? Then, then you'll have guys come at me and say all my results are fake, even though I show all the proof to the contrary, okay? That is actually hating when I'm showing them direct stuff to the contrary in their fucking face, okay? And they're gonna say, oh, that's all fake, okay? That's being a hater. And that comes from a place of jealousy. It comes from a place of frustration. They wish they could have the level of results that I do with girls. They wish they could have a lifestyle like mine. Who wouldn't wanna live with multiple hot girls in a penthouse, on a, a two-story penthouse on a tropical island with a whole bunch of other hot girls on the side and the ability to generate that in any city I want or drop the whole thing and rebuild it very quickly. Who wouldn't want that, okay? Of course, everyone watching would, unless you're gay, okay? Or unless you're uh, just a huge keyboard jockey, fucking retard, which a lot of people are actually, where they just prefer you know, debating in the forums and flaming people and this and that, and they don't even care about getting good with girls. If that's you, then I don't know why the fuck you're watching any videos, frankly. But if you want hot girls, as I know most of you do, and you wanna get them with as little effort as possible and with maximal results and have those results be contagious and upgrade the whole rest of your life, okay? I'm your man, there's nobody even close. So don't delay, jump on a free 30 minute call, talk to me, I'll show you what I can do for you. And also subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. There's a lot more fucking retard coaches to light up. So buckle up, it's gonna get really fun this year. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.